Reversible process by the name itself means that it is a process which can be reversed in direction at any stage. This is not true for irreversible process. Reversible process should be carried out very slowly. Or in other words, such processes are carried out in innumerable very small stages such that the process may be reversed at any stage very easily. The process is therefore in equilibrium all through. However, a reversible process cannot be reversed in any way and is not in equilibrium. Reversible process is actually not feasible, but we can approach towards reversibility by carrying out the process very slowly. Reversible process yields the maximum amount of work. For expansion of a gas in a cylinder, the work done equal to force into distance. Now force we all know is pressure into area. Therefore, work done is equal to pressure into expanded volume because area into distance is the expanded volume. Therefore, work done equal to the external pressure into final volume minus initial volume. We take two cylinders like this in which there is some gas of the same amount which is compressed by 10 gram weight in one cylinder and 10 1 gram weights in another cylinder. The volume of the gas is same in both the cylinders. Now removing the 10 gram weight from this cylinder, the external pressure comes down to the atmospheric pressure immediately and work done will be equal to atmospheric pressure into final volume minus initial volume which is represented by this area under this curve. This is the irreversible work done. Now we remove 1 gram weights in steps from this cylinder. Watch what happens when we remove the first weight. The gas only expand a little bit against an external pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to 9 1 gram weights. So the work done in this stage is this pressure into V1 minus the initial volume. The work done in this stage is therefore shown by this area. Now we successively take out the weights over here one by one. The resulting work done in each stage is like this. Now this process has been carried out slowly in 10 small steps and so this process is reversible. Clearly the work done here is greater than the work done in the irreversible process. Suppose we carry out the same process in innumerable small steps such that the internal pressure and the external pressure are more or less equal in each stage, then the process will approach more and more towards reversibility. In that case, work done can be calculated by integration. If the gas in the cylinder is considered to behave ideally, then the internal pressure equal to nRT by V. Putting this value over here, we get work done equal to nRT ln final volume divided by initial volume. Since the reversible process is carried out very slowly, there is less turbulence in the system and therefore minimum heat is transferred.